This is part two of how to make a hardcover book. In part one, I demonstrated how to make the text block. In part two, I'll show you how to create the cover and share ideas for embellishing your journal. I'm using a fat quarter of cotton fabric and lightweight fusible interfacing to create book cloth. Iron the interfacing to the back of the cloth. This step prevents a lot of issues people experience with book covering, such as wrinkling, warping, and fraying. I use Graphics brand chipboard for my covers. You can use medium or heavy weight. One 12 by 12 piece is enough for a book this size. Trace the size of the text block on the chipboard. Add a half inch to the height. Cut two of these for covers, as well as a piece that is the text block height plus half an inch and the same width as your spine. This will be the spine piece. You can use a craft knife or a heavy duty paper cutter for this. Add glue to one cover piece and adhere to the fabric, leaving at least a one inch border around the edges. Measure a quarter inch from the side of the glued cover and mark. Adhere the spine piece along this mark. Measure another gap a quarter inch out from the edge of the spine piece and mark. Then adhere the second cover piece along this mark. Trim the fabric to about one inch on all sides. Trim the corners at an angle, leaving a little excess at the tip of the corner. Add glue to the fabric border, then fold up around the cover, tucking in the excess fabric at the corners. Now we can add the text block. Slide a piece of scrap cardstock between the layers of the colored end papers to protect them. Add glue to the end paper, then smooth onto the cover. Repeat for the back. Place in a book press or underneath a heavy flat object for a couple of hours. I demonstrate how to make your own book press in another tutorial if you're interested in making your own. That's it! You've made a book! You can further personalize your book by printing your own Rub-On titles using Rub-On's transfer film made by Graphics. Try using Sakura's Jelly Roll pens to create colorful drawings and journaling. The great thing about these books is they can become anything you want. For more information about graphics brand Chipboard and Rub-Ons, visit graphicsarts.com. Learn more about my favorite Sumo Grip Pencil and Jelly Roll pens by visiting sakuraofamerica.com. For hundreds more projects, visit my website, madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.